tell him to get on live right now. And he owe people in Saudi Arabia money too. Broke ass nigga. Five. Tell him show where he at. Gervonta Davis and Mayweather are still going at it, and things are still getting heated up between these two. Set you off because you was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. He said, So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you, like, oh, like. He, he, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Mayweather was once Davis's father figure, but now he seems more of a potential opponent in the ring, with Mayweather throwing even more jabs recently. What started as a secret jab from Mayweather has escalated into a social media war of words. Thank I'm whooping that ass. Tell him come see me. And how about you and I Isaac Cruz? I ain't got to tell him hold the belt. I will whoop his ass for free. Easy work. No, 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 not for free, but not for the damn belt. I don't want to. All right, what's he doing? Here's what I know. It all began in late April when Mayweather took to social media, criticizing a group of unnamed boxers, or should we say Gervonta. He accused them of prioritizing their flashy ring attire over dedication to the sport. Mayweather, known for his strategic style and meticulous training, emphasized the hard work behind his success. He argued that these young fighters see only his glamorous lifestyle, not the countless hours he invested to reach that point. A lot of times what these fighters are looking at, they're looking at Floyd with the cars, they're looking at Floyd being flashy. Man, listen, I made so many sacrifices. Y'all are looking at the end results. And when I was champion having hundreds of millions in the bank, I still was on my grind in that gym. Y'all are worried about your outfits, how your boots look, worried about the wrong things. A lot of you fighters are living check to check. Gervonta Davis, however, took these comments personally. Once considered Mayweather's protege, Davis saw the criticism as a direct attack. He believed Mayweather was subtly targeting him, and his response wasn't sugar-coated. Davis took to Instagram, accusing Mayweather of being a hater entangled in his own financial troubles. He implied Mayweather was stuck in Dubai due to unresolved business dealings. Nia says all this bullshit, but he's in Dubai and can't leave because he's been taking Nia's money and not doing what they paid him to do. Nia is a F King hater. This war of words is particularly dramatic because of their past connection. For a significant part of his career, Davis was seen as the heir apparent to Mayweather's throne. Floyd even took him under his wing, signing him to Mayweather promotions in 2015. Under Mayweather's guidance, Davis racked up an impressive 26 wins with no losses. However, things went sour in 2022. After a fight, Davis shockingly announced his potential retirement, accusing Mayweather promotions of sabotaging his career. He felt they were giving him less prominent fights compared to Mayweather himself. This accusation of manipulation and a desire for greater control over his career led to Davis leaving Mayweather promotions in 2022 to manage his own path. That's a story for later though. However, in the latest development of the ongoing feud between boxing legends Floyd Mayweather and Gervonta Davis, Mayweather has once again taken to social media to address Davis's allegations. This time, however, Mayweather's words carried a more threatening tone, marking a significant escalation in their public spat. In a series of posts on his social media accounts, Mayweather said, I've heard enough of the lies. I've stayed silent for too long. It's time to set the record straight. He continued, Gervonta, you've crossed a line. You're playing a dangerous game, my boy. Well, it seems that Mayweather has reached his boiling point. A Mayweather's words were not just a denial of the rumors, but also a clear threat to Davis. He warned, You should know better than to mess with me. I've fought bigger and tougher opponents in the ring. Don't make me fight you outside of it. The boxing champion didn't stop there. He went on to accuse Davis of spreading false rumors out of jealousy and resentment. Whatever you're going at, you better leave me out of it. Leave Floyd's name off your mouth or else, Mayweather added. Before this, Gervonta had threatened to KO Mayweather.
Now I for around and knock Floyd out when I see him, and I'll care about going back to jail. He's such a bitch. And it is at this time that in reply, Mayweather posted a video of Tank's rival Shakur Stevenson calling him out. Look man, I want to fight you. Gervonta Tank Davis, let's make the fight happen. I'm tired of talking about it. Stop running from me and let's make the fight happen. Let's go, Shakur said. Say man, look man, your beef is not with Floyd Mayweather. You sit here beefing with Floyd. It's a fighter out here that's been calling your name that want to fight you. Now Mayweather's threatening message to Davis is a massive escalation in their ongoing feud. It's clear that Mayweather is not taking Davis's allegations lightly and is prepared to fight back. Maybe it's at this point that Davis should try to take caution, but things even escalate further with the involvement of Ryan Garcia. The boxing world was sent reeling in April 2024 when Ryan Garcia, fresh off his victory over Devin Haney, decided to shed light on the growing feud between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and his former protege, Gervonta Davis. Garcia's words pointed towards a very personal reason for the animosity, an alleged involvement between Davis and Mayweather's daughter, Yaya. While neither Davis nor Yaya have publicly commented on the nature of their relationship, Garcia's statement ignited a media firestorm. In a post-fight interview, Garcia made a bombshell claim. I already knew about all that though. Once Gervonta F. Floyd's daughter, that ain't even a secret. That's not something I'm exposing. I already, I already knew about all that. Uh, once um, Javante fucked uh, uh, for Mayweather's daughter, and that's not even a secret. That's not even like, that's not something I'm exposing. Oh, wow. That's, uh, after somebody did that. At this point, the once amicable relationship between Mayweather and Davis had been deteriorating for some time, marked by training disagreements and public spats. However, Garcia's revelation offered a new personal dimension to the feud. Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Born Ayana Mayweather is Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s eldest daughter. The 21-year-old has kept a relatively low profile compared to her famous father. However, she has occasionally found herself in the spotlight due to social media activity and a well-publicized legal incident. In 2020, Yaya pleaded guilty to a stabbing incident involving another woman at rapper NBA Youngboy's home. This episode cast a shadow over her public image, but details surrounding her personal life, including any potential relationship with Davis, remain shrouded in secrecy. Following Garcia's statement, speculation ran rampant. However, neither Yaya nor Gervonta Davis have issued any official statements regarding the alleged relationship. This lack of confirmation fuels the media frenzy, but also leaves room for doubt. But the threats didn't come from Mayweather alone. Floyd Mayweather Sr. did react. In a fiery interview, he condemned Davis's actions, though without directly mentioning the alleged relationship. If Garcia's claim holds any truth, it could explain the animosity between Mayweather and Davis. Bringing a boxer's family into a public feud is a major breach of boxing etiquette. It's easy to see how Mayweather, known for being fiercely protective of his family, might be deeply offended. This could also explain Davis's exclusion from the money team, Mayweather's promotional stable. Their falling out coincided with the alleged incident involving Yaya. The revelation has undoubtedly added a personal layer to the Mayweather-Davis feud, so Mayweather might already be feeling so attacked, forcing him to come back at Davis. The biggest question mark remains the truth behind Garcia's statement. Did a relationship between Yaya and Davis truly occur? Did it fuel the feud between Mayweather and Davis? Well, it could be that Ryan Garcia was also trying to get back to Davis. Maybe trying to ruin their relationship further. Because if we're being honest, Garcia and Mayweather seem really close. Even Garcia himself admitted it. Ryan Garcia's admiration for Floyd Mayweather Jr. is more than a causal association, it borders on reverence. In a revealing interview on the PBD podcast with Patrick Bet David, Garcia, the junior welterweight contender from Victorville, California, shared his deep respect and close friendship with the legendary boxer, a relationship that has influenced his career and personal ethics. When Bet David inquired about which influential figure in his life has the privilege to offer him unfiltered criticism, 
Garcia did not hesitate to name Mayweather. The question he was asked was specific. I want to know which goat, greatest of all time, you allow to privately kick your ass. Garcia's immediate response was Floyd, highlighting the depth of their relationship. Garcia elaborated on this dynamic, noting that he becomes uncharacteristically silent when Mayweather speaks. Known for his talkative nature, Garcia's restaurant in Mayweather's presence is a testament to the respect he holds for the former champion. I don't really speak when Floyd's talking, Garcia said. And I speak a lot. I'm a big talker. I don't speak when Floyd's talking. He tells me a bunch of things. I just shut up. Floyd can talk. This deference extends beyond mere silence. Garcia shared that Mayweather's advice often carries a massive weight in his life. Reflecting on this, Garcia quoted, Be wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove, to describe Mayweather's approach to giving advice. Despite Mayweather's sometimes critical stance, Garcia accepts it, acknowledging that such feedback is only harsh when it is absolutely necessary. He comes out as gentle, he doesn't come out aggressive, because I don't do that, God doesn't do that to me, unless it's bad, bad, unless I'm really messing up. Garcia's high regard for Mayweather is evident in his repeated affirmations of respect. I can hear Floyd's voice and I can respect it. I don't really talk when he's speaking. He even says it, knows when to speak and knows when not to speak. Like those facts, I really respect Floyd more than a lot of people. This respect is not one-sided. This Garcia too, the rematch. Um, it all depends. I mean, because you know, um, it's up to them too. Right. Mayweather has acknowledged Garcia's potential, having once called him the face of boxing. However, this close relationship has not been without controversy. Oscar De La Hoya, the head of Golden Boy Promotions and Garcia's longtime promoter, has expressed dissatisfaction with Garcia's bond with Mayweather. De La Hoya, who has a notorious rivalry with Mayweather dating back to their days as active fighters, recently took to social media to express his frustration, advising Mayweather to F off. Mayweather's guidance has sometimes led to contentious outcomes for Garcia. One notable instance was Mayweather's advice for Garcia to abandon negotiations with WBC 140-pound titleist Devin Haney in favor of a fight with Mayweather's own protege, Rolando Romero. The strategy was to secure a victory over Romero, which would then set the stage for a more lucrative unification bout with Haney. However, this plan backfired when Romero opted to fight Isaac Cruz instead, leaving Garcia to resume talks with Haney in what can be seen as a misstep orchestrated by following Mayweather's counsel. Despite these setbacks, the close friendship between Garcia and Mayweather remains strong. A recent event that drew significant media attention was their early morning jog together, a moment initiated by Garcia. He recalled the moment vividly. That three o'clock in the morning run with Floyd? That was my idea. Like. Floyd, let's go. Let's hit this run. Oh, wow. You know what Floyd told me on the run? I promise you this as God is my witness. He looks me in the eye. It almost sounds like he's crying. You don't hear his voice get like this. Very few times he goes, I respect you. Just like that. I respect you. This moment was particularly poignant for Garcia as it showcased Mayweather's genuine respect and admiration for his dedication and work ethic. And I was like, why Floyd? And I'm getting the chills all over my body because nobody's doing what you're doing. Nobody. Floyd calls me all the time and I'm running all the time. Floyd's like, I'm so proud of you, proud of you, proud of you. Garcia's relationship with Mayweather is multifaceted, blending mentorship, mutual respect, and personal growth. While it has not been free of complications, the bond they share has undeniably shaped Garcia's career and outlook. As Garcia continues to navigate his path in the boxing world, the influence of Mayweather will likely remain a cornerstone of his journey, guiding him through both triumphs and trials. But with all that's going on between Gervonta and Floyd, it does seem that Ryan is shooting shots at Davis and it's working. However, Floyd's family is all taking some shots and throwing warnings at Davis. Known for his blunt honesty, Floyd Mayweather Sr. doesn't mince words when addressing the recent controversy involving Gervonta Davis. As a veteran of the boxing world, both as a fighter and a trainer, Mayweather Sr. has seen his fair share of trash talk and publicity stunts. However, the current situation has struck a particularly sensitive nerve for him. Listen here, young man. 
I've been in this game for decades. I've seen trash talk and publicity stunts galore. But this, this takes the cake, Mayweather Sr. stated emphatically, expressing his dismay over the recent events. Mayweather Sr., who has endured numerous challenges and controversies throughout his storied career, both inside and outside the ring, finds this situation unique and particularly egregious. Our, our training camp is fine. We, don't we are okay. That. We don't I, need training camp is fine. Our training camp is fine. We undefeated. We've been undefeated. We're going to stay undefeated. Our training camp you is fine. You were undefeated when you started with your daddy. I, I the crux of his ire lies in Davis's recent actions, which he feels have crossed a significant line. Gervonta, there's no denying the kid's got talent, but talent ain't everything. There's a code, young fella, lines you just don't cross. Dragging my granddaughter into this mess, that's crossing a line. And disrespect of the highest order, he continued, underscoring the gravity of Davis's missteps. Respect, both inside and outside the squared circle, has always been a cornerstone of the Mayweather legacy. This principle was instilled in Floyd Jr. by his father, and it played a significant role in Floyd Jr.'s journey to becoming an undefeated legend. Now Floyd Sr. is keen to impart the same wisdom to Gervonta Davis, emphasizing the importance of respect and professionalism in the sport. You want to prove yourself, son? Step into the ring. That's where champions are made, where true warriors settle their differences. This gossip, this drama, it achieves nothing but cheap headlines. Mayweather Sr. admonished, offering a direct appeal to Davis. His words go beyond mere criticism. They are a lesson about the deeper values of the sport. Mayweather Sr. demands a certain character and respect for the sport's rich history and the unwritten code of conduct that binds fighters together. He believes that boxing is not just about physical prowess, but also about the integrity and respect that one shows within the community of fighters. We, Mayweather, we live and breathe boxing, but above all, we live by respect. If Gervonta wants a seat at this table, he better learn that lesson fast, he concluded, making it clear that respect and professionalism are non-negotiable in the world of boxing. Mayweather Sr.'s message is a reminder of the values that have underpinned the Mayweather family's success in boxing. His words serve as both a reprimand and guidance for Davis, urging him to uphold the traditions and respect that define the sport. As a seasoned figure in boxing, Mayweather Sr.'s perspective carries significant weight, offering a blend of tough love and invaluable wisdom to the younger generation of fighters. Now, Davis might be taking no advice from anyone. The latest twist in this entire story involves a new deal that Davis has reportedly signed with Amazon Prime, a deal that he claims is far superior to anything Mayweather has ever secured. I'm at that point where I started passing him. Mm. And, I, and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like, when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about? Yeah, oh, that's, that the, deal, that's a part that's of the deal. He, he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. Damn. The deal in question is a multi-year rights agreement between Amazon Prime and Premier Boxing Champions PBC, which includes Davis among its roster of over 150 active fighters. This landmark agreement is set to deliver the boxing industry's most significant events to viewers, providing fans with year-round access to the best matchups featuring the biggest stars in boxing. Davis is one of the standout names on PCBS roster. His fights, along with other blockbuster events, will be distributed by Prime Video, starting from March 20241. This deal not only provides Davis with a massive platform to showcase his talent, but also offers him a lucrative financial package. In the midst of his ongoing feud with Mayweather, Davis has been vocal about the superiority of his Amazon Prime deal. He has taken to social media to express his satisfaction with the agreement and to throw jabs at Mayweather. Davis has implied that his deal with Amazon Prime is a testament to his rising star power and a sign that he has surpassed Mayweather in terms of relevance and marketability. Davis's words have not gone unnoticed. His claims about the superiority of his Amazon Prime deal have added a new dimension to his feud with Mayweather. Despite the harsh words and public disagreements, Davis seems undeterred. He appears ready to stand his ground and does not seem likely to back down from the feud anytime soon. Rumors have been swirling around Floyd Mayweather Jr., but let's set the record straight with some interesting facts and debunking. Recently, there were claims that Mayweather was facing financial troubles and was allegedly detained in Dubai. However, these rumors quickly unraveled when Mayweather was spotted back in the U.S. enjoying a basketball game, putting to rest the speculation about his supposed predicament. 
Despite his frequent headlines for flashy spending and lavish lifestyle, it's important to remember that Mayweather has also been involved in several charitable acts. For instance, he recently made a generous donation of $30,000 to homeless men in Los Angeles. Devin, in the gym, it's, he's, for starters, it's certain things he gotta turn, turn his shots to get his power. He gotta right. turn it a certain way. Right. You're right about that, 100%. And you, you can't be Unfortunately, this admirable gesture was overshadowed by the unfounded rumors about his financial status and alleged troubles in Dubai. The rumors gained traction partly due to Mayweather's unusual silence on social media. Known for his active presence and regular updates on various platforms, his absence sparked speculation. Fans and followers were quick to connect the dots, assuming his silence was linked to the purported financial woes and detainment in Dubai. In reality, and according to all the eyes out here, the reason behind his social media silence remains unclear, but it's evident that it had nothing to do with the rumors. Adding fuel to the fire, renowned boxing agent Rick Glazer publicly supported the claims about Mayweather's financial issues in Dubai. Glazer stated that Mayweather was allegedly held by the government court system due to a significant debt that was unrelated to boxing. This statement from a credible source like Glazer gave the rumors a semblance of truth, further stirring the pot. Just got off the phone with my guy in Dubai. He told me that hashtag Floyd hashtag Mayweather is definitely being held by the government court system there as he owes a substantial amount of money in Dubai. They take indebtedness over there very seriously. Was told the debt is hashtag unassociated with hashtag boxing. Floyd's desperately trying to work things out to no avail so far. So at the rate Gervonta hashtag Tank Davis is correct that Floyd's being held there. However, the sighting of Mayweather in the U.S. basketball game provided a clear indication that the rumors were unfounded. If Mayweather had indeed been detained in Dubai, it would have been impossible for him to attend such a public event back in the States. This sighting effectively debunked the claims and reassured fans that Mayweather was not in any legal or financial trouble. It's worth noting that Mayweather's life and career have always been under the microscope. His persona, combined with his unparalleled success in boxing, makes him a constant subject of media scrutiny. While the rumors about his financial troubles in Dubai turned out to be baseless, they highlight the challenges faced by public figures who are often the target of speculation and gossip.